Well, here we have problem 83. A can in the shape of a right circular cylinder is required to have a volume of 700 and a cubic centimeters. So I could write that in cubic centimeters. Okay. And the top and the bottom are made of material. You can see that. So the top and the bottom are circles. The sides are basically the side of this whole cylinder is in the shape of a rectangle if you cut it and unfold it. We've done that. The sides and the top have different costs for the uh, for the materials. And so we're trying to figure out a formula for the cost of the uh, of the materials for this right circular cylinder. So what I did was, and this is basically how I start each of these problems when we're dealing with surface area of a three-dimensional shape. First of all, draw the three-dimensional shape, label it, H for height, R for radius of the base, okay, and then if I were to take each of the surfaces and lay them out on a, on, a, on a table, let's say, you've got the top, you've got the bottom, and, uh, and label T for top, B for bottom, and then we've got, uh, and those are the same shape, those are um, circles, and then the side of this cylinder is in the shape of a rectangle if we were to cut it and lay it out. And I apologize up front, this is really hard to use a mouse and uh, write neatly, so uh, bear with me here. Anyway, the area of the top is the same as the area of the bottom, area of the circles, pi r squared. And then we have the area of the lateral surface is what we call it, the area of the sides. And the area of the side, if you unfold it, you realize that we have a rectangle. The rectangle area is length times width. Now, the height of this rectangle is still h, the height of the cylinder. So we, uh, if we look back here, we have h over here and h over here, and these are the same, the same h. Okay, and then unfolding it, the length of this rectangle is actually the circumference of the top or the bottom, and the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. That's the formula for the circumference. And so when you multiply those two together, you get 2 pi r times h, which is the area of the, of the side. And then when you multiply, so you multiply those together, you get the area. But we can't, if we're going to come up with the cost function as a function of the radius, notice we have radius, radius, but then we have a radius and an h, the height in this formula here. So we need to get rid of the h. We need to substitute something for that. And that's why... Uh, the reason why we're able to do that is because we're given this relationship right here. We have a fixed volume, and so we can solve for h in terms of r, and we get 700 divided by pi r squared for the uh, for the height. That's the height is as a uh, in terms of r, 700 divided by pi r squared. And so we're going to take the that uh, what what the height is in relation to, to r in terms of r, and we're going to replace h with what h is equal to, canceling, and we get, um, canceling the pi and the r, we get 1,400 divided by r. So that's actually the area of the, of the side of this, uh, of the cylinder. And then we have the areas of the, of the top and the bottom. And so when you put those together, you get the total surface area. Well, we're not trying to figure that out. We're trying to figure out the cost in terms of just the radius. And the cost, it says, is 8 cents. So the top and the bottom uh, are 8 cents. So in terms of dollars, 0 0.08 multiplied by the top and the bottom. So if we just add those two together, we have 2 pi r squareds. Okay, so we're coming up with a formula for the cost. So the cost is uh, cost per um, square centimeter, and basically it's cost per, you know, times the area, 8 cents times the area of top and bottom, plus then we have 5 cents multiplied by, 
So 0 0.05 dollars, five cents, multiplied by the area of the, what do they call it? The material um, the sides, the area of the side. So 1,400 divided by R, and five times 14 is 70, and so 0 0.05 times 1,400 would be 70, and then over R, so that's that part. I'm sorry, I'm kind of working backwards here. Uh, let's see. 2 times 0 0.08 is 0.16. So we have 0 0.16 times pi r squared. And that is the cost in terms of r. And which one is that? Pi r squared looks like that would be a... Is that right? 0 0.16, and that's 140. Yeah, that's not going to be it. So it's going to be a. So that is the answer.